Yes, yes. Welcome back to another episode of Electrician TV. I'm Will from Wills Electrical Services. In tonight's episode, what we do is we go and test two uh, rental properties. One's satisfactory, one's not. And I'll show you bits and bobs. What you might notice in the video is that we don't show you all the test sequences because I'm not feeling comfortable about teaching you, but I don't mind showing you. Right, let's roll the bits. Bang! <laughs> Do us a massive favour, like, follow, subscribe, and flick the bean because it helps the channel grow. Bosh. So you support. I show you support as well. Mel. <laughs> so it's Monday morning. Got uh, Jackie boy. We've got Ebsy here with us. Don't be hiding. Why are you hiding for Ebs? So we've got a four bedroom. Free, it's a it's a three story four bedroom yeah. house, and it that's why uh, Jackie boy's with us for a couple of days. you Jackie boy, you do uh, college full time, didn't you? But yeah. you broke up now for summer, so he's gonna be with us a couple, a couple of extra days a week. You used to just do Fridays, didn't you? But now you're just gonna do enough a couple. All right, so if you come in here and I'll show you the fuse board. So we've literally just got here, so this is an Eaton dual, dual RCD. So RCDs aren't gonna be much of a problem. Obviously these are AC type, so that's obviously an issue. We can look at that. I'll probably code that C3 to be fair. Uh, it's got an isolator as well, so all in all should be all right. So the first thing we do is Ebsy takes a photo of the fuse board with it on, with it off. He also finds the water gas, makes sure we take a photo of that before we measure it, because the first actual test we do, we disconnect the main earth. So we disconnect the parallel paths, because that's obviously the main thing in it, is to make sure there's an earth to the house. And then we go on from there, so we leave it there. Yeah. So what we've got is a couple of little observations. What we're looking at is if you look, but like uh, we're underneath the stairs. So this is a plastic fuse board. This is a sole, sole escape route because obviously it's a townhouse. But look, as you can see through it, we've never really do these Eaton boards, do we? Yeah. So it's probably the first one I've seen of these, but I have removed this buzz bar cover just to show you. So if you just give them a quick look. But oddly enough, the, the main switch is actually in the middle of the the board and it's split either side, which is a bit odd. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that as, do that as number one. We can even write on a one and two and then we can count them from there. But I've been showing on the bottom of the buzz bar. Yeah. One other thing what we do do is if you just show them is that we've got our earth leakage meter. So that's with all the sockets. You can probably hear in the background that old um, Jackie boy's going around to every single socket, checking the clarity, making sure he's obviously keeping a look at any wear and tear and all that sort of jazz. And then he does that, then he does the switches, you know, and that's how we're gonna do it. It's just because we've got two four bedders today that we thought we'd bring Jackie a boy along and, and give him some experience. He actually done his own house, didn't he, as well? Yeah. Oh, I'll find a little touch. What we found and all is that uh, uh, whoever's done the board, when they've done the, uh, the boards, they've marked up one leg of each of the cores. So see that one and that black. So obviously when we do the R1, R2, it'd be perfectly fine. We don't actually bother doing the uh, the neutral because obviously we do the end-to-end. -end, so if they're fine, then we've got no suspicion for doing it. But every now and then you can if you do it at the socket. But we're not actually going to do it. But uh, fair play to them for doing that. What touch? Obviously we've got the uh, fuse board isolated, and what we're doing is we're doing the end-to-end -end readings here. And um, what what we find is, unless there's a loose connection, we don't take photos. But if there is, and we take photos, don't we? Abs? We normally do it at the sockets, but uh, because this is quite a neat, neatish board, it doesn't look it from the, by the camera, but it is, isn't it? Abs? Yeah, it's got a main isolator as well. So yeah, so it's safe as ours is. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Um, obviously, it's only us three here, isn't it? Isn't it, uh, Jackie boy? So there's no point doing safe isolation because we're all in control of your mind, body, and soul. Let me take control of them right close to your ear there, mate. By that clean off, Jackie boy. Yeah, so we just pulled down these kitchen down lights as well, which surprisingly, they're actually okay. They're fire rated. All the cables are in the uh, connections because obviously the main thing is the basic insulation. And for a new build, this is actually surprisingly quite good so far. Yeah. One of the things that I've asked Jack to do, so he's gone to one to each one, but that's IP65, it's in a bathroom. All the insulation's all, all sorted. That must be all part of the warranty anyway, so 
That's all fine. Jack, they can go back up, please, both. So we've literally dropped one from each room. So we've got an ensuite here. And the, the third floor doesn't have them, does it? No. Just make sure you keep the pins up, yeah, both. Yeah. But yeah, that's sweet. So I'm satisfied with them. So we can move on from the down. Yes, yes, Willie! Yes, yes! Right, so we're just going to do the interim readings. Uh, Epsi's got his calculator set up. So he's already nulled the leads. We don't have to do that. So obviously, as it's harmonized colors, you can only presume that it's going to be 2515. So, so 0.51. 0.51, yeah, and then the Earths are 0.83. So now you're gonna do, what are you gonna do? Yeah, do, so. 0.51, you don't have to keep doing that, guys. You know it's 1.67. Yeah, I definitely will, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, so, if, if, if there is actually anyone who's ever watched more than one of my videos must know that we do this gag every week. Times that one, yeah. I have one. Uh, and we got 0.83 so we know that's absolutely sweet yeah? yeah so now he's going to do the figure of eight and then we're going to go around and make sure that we there are in each room yeah and what he's going to do now because now we've done the figure of eight he's going to go around with this you have to keep a mental note of the highest one that you keep because it's unlike that function where you can look maximum where you can find it oh, and God, it yeah. is so uh, you've literally just got to uh, keep a mental note which of, of that. Jack, your boy's been round with the uh, plug top tester, so I'll just quickly show you in here. So see where that one's got the black tape? That is with the non-black tape one. So, and that's why they put the tape on there. Cheers for that, boys, who've ever done this 10 years ago or whenever. So what are you getting? 0.36. What, on all of them? Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, if that's, that garage is coming off this ring, mate, you would have thought that would have drove it down quite a bit, wouldn't you? Yeah. A bit rough and all, wasn't it? I suppose. Yeah, must have been. Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to break that down and have a quick look here. Well done, mate. The thing we do is we, uh, we go to each one and then uh, take a photo, because obviously these are out of date. So these, them spikes must have been a year or two old before they even installed them. Yeah. Broken luck. Bits and bobs like that. Cheers, Jack, you boy. Just doing the uh, R1, R2, just checking these. The, the reason we do these, which are invaluable, is that if there's any loose connections, plus and all, if there's a socket on enough a circuit, we know that when we have... Yeah. And obviously, if they've used any foreign cabling like any one five speaker cable, whatever. One thing we did notice is uh, these ones are not on it, but I should imagine at some point that must have been a uh, that must have been a tubular heater. That's what that would have been, Ebs. Is uh, I should imagine the uh, I should imagine the higher one would have been the spur, and then the bottom one would should have been the tubular heater, so it could have worked as an airing cupboard. <sighs> Charlotte Wills, eh? Hey, 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 hey! Show them your bruise. Hey, All man. you boys keep coming in. Reese has still got his black eye, has he? <laughs> has he? I think so. Well, you was with him Saturday, weren't you? Yeah, but it's faded, though, isn't it? Has it? Well, his makeup, did you all have makeup on yeah. then? Gazer, please. What was the name of the band you went to see? Um, Hilltop Saint. <laughs> Big fan, man. I don't know. <laughs> Absolute basic knowledge, but just seeing the little hole like that indicates that there must be power underneath, which we did find. We found there was a TV and all that. So it's just saying to bear in mind, isn't it, Jackie boy? Do you want to see if you're going to try and get that drawback in, guys? Yeah? yeah. Just take it easy, yeah? Right, so that's us finished at this one. We've gone through it all. There's a few minor observations in there. Ebs is just literally going through all the terminations in the board, just checking they're all, all sweet. And then we're all done. Then it's on to the next one. I'll hopefully show you a bit more there. That's why I uh, stopped a bit short here. But since this is a new build, it's actually uh, it's actually been done to quite a good standard, Ebs, isn't it, really, to be fair? We found the smokes are out of date, so we're obviously going to do a cover letter for that. Sometimes I do them, I do do them as an FI, but where this is satisfactory, we're just going to do a separate quote and just uh, 
add a add a letter to it. Right, so we're at the second test, and uh, this this building's a, a little bit older than the last one, isn't it? So it's got the Mamira 2000, so straight away we know this is a split load board. So them first ones are not going to have any RCV protection. Once again, normal jargon is going to be the bathrooms. It is uh, at least one en suite upstairs as well. So, but yeah, looks like it's going to be nice. It looks like it's been relatively untampered with as well. Someone's done that FP there that goes to the... Uh, that goes to the, uh, that actually goes to the floodlight there. It looks like me and Ollie have done that one, but I can't remember it. I know we've worked in next door neighbours. He, uh, he's in an office for done, but yeah. So obviously these smokes, these smokes look like they're gonna be battery powered, but with that green light, they've got to be mains, haven't they? So obviously this one, the last one didn't have any metallic light fittings, but this one has downstairs, it's got one there and a couple in here. So obviously we've got to check them. Obviously the oven connections, we've got to check them. These are wall lights, because they're, they're obviously not going to be original to the building. So I have to see what these spurs do. I don't know what all these spurs are about, whether they were put in for maybe storage eaters, but tell you what, they've got a lovely garden here. It's obviously dated. But look, that's a proper nice garden, isn't it? Whoever lived here or whoever owns it before, I think this might be the first, this might be the one where they said that it's not been rented out before, so they don't really know what it's gonna be like, but it's just a bit dated, the actual house, but it's absolutely stunning house, really. Yeah, so Jack's gone round with the uh, plug-in tester looking for a mole. Ebbs is uh, taking photos of the mains, doing the mains. So obviously we've got to turn the power off with this, get that. So we get that and then we want to lead, uh, want to lead all the uh, gas and water. Is it, have you found the water? Is it a, uh, plastic plastic, plastic. what we've uh, mm. still bonded, yeah? yeah? Yeah. That's what we found, two of them today. But uh, to be fair, it weren't until the 18th edition that they actually, uh, yeah, it like, went until the 18th edition that they actually clarified that that's how they wanted it, that you didn't have to do that. But yeah, well, to be honest, until that was in black and white, we were still wiring the 10 mils with the plastic incomers because you never know. And then we just put them in connect, put them in uh, boxes with blank plates with it labelled, just in case you never know. So a quick look at, look at their fuse board. So obviously this is an AC type one. We've got a bunch of circuits. These circuits are not RCV protected. One of them's in the bathroom. One's a smoke detector. So you could argue about there not being any surge protection. That is for the outside light. I, for some reason, I reckon I've done that at some point because I think I'm the only anal geezer to put FP200 and P clip it. But, and also I would have put, but what if I had a white one? A fusion, that's a bit moody. I don't, I don't know where that's from. It couldn't have been me. It couldn't have been me, Willie. So, yeah, this is just basically the newer version of those. If all you are familiar, those were the old uh, Memshield 2 breakers, so you could actually get RCBOs, but obviously, that's. Oh, I'm definitely going to recommend a fuse ball change on this one. Surge protection, maybe, or RCBOs. Standard, standard behaviour. You've obviously got this cable here clipped above there, which is obviously an issue, but that's just a premature collapse, but that is a, a an escape route. This actual socket is only plugged into that, which is a bit gash in it. But yeah, oh, I like that. We'll probably cut a spur in or something there. So we've just seen these stickers and that the smokes were put in, in uh, 98, 25 years ago. Wow. So, uh, they're obviously going to be changed. The RCD strips, geezer. Yeah. yeah. Good old sturdy old boards, these. It's very rare these ever go, I tell you.
this person's garden. That is absolutely stunning. Whoever was living here before was proper loved it, I suppose. I don't know if the park people are deceased or they're uh, moved away or gone into a home. I'm not too sure. That's beautiful. Just through there, literally where you are. Look, no, to your left, literally, look, through there. It's a little gap. There's a, there's a, uh, it's like an MK outdoor socket. There must be a fountain behind there. I'm going to check that. 